and welcome to vlogmas day 22 well it's tea time now and i haven't picked the camera up today at all i've basically not had time um not had a lot of customers in the shop today um which is usually like that this time of the year i know i've said before but i've had quite a few sort of little jobs to do again i've been sorting out some of the oh emu little treasures yarn uh update it well i've got to update the website and i just wanted to get it all in my book so i i know how many balls of each colorway i've got and i started taking some photographs of the patterns because i've only got a few of them online at the moment uh, at least i have um, something to do <laughs> probably over christmas to actually get the stuff online uh, so that's actually kept me pretty busy. Um, I went to Tesco's with Adele today. I have been to Tesco's every day this week. And I usually go in the morning when it's a little bit quieter. But we went this afternoon and it was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> oh dear, I was so glad to get home. I tell you, it's awful. Um, I had to get my mother-in-law one or two bits and then... As Adele had been up there yesterday to see her, she said she hadn't got a lot in her fridge. So we got her a few other bits and bobs as well that we know she likes. Uh, so Adele's taken a bit of it up now and she's going to make her up some freezer meals. She got some fish, like a fish pie and things like that. So at least when she's not feeling well, um, my mother-in-law can just get a dish of food out of the freezer and she's not got to stand up for too long in the kitchen trying to prepare food for herself <laughs> otherwise she'll only have a sandwich which is no good for her so yeah that's what we've been doing um so i've got a few jobs i need to finish off tomorrow when i go to work uh i don't know if i'm going to get these crackers made or not but i'm, I'm hoping to i'm hoping maybe tomorrow evening saturday evening or at the latest sunday but we'll see. We'll see. It shouldn't take me too long. If I can actually get them cut out tomorrow at work, then I can get on. So that'll be that. Um, oh, Advent Door Beyond the Pink Door is an e is out of the ebook today, and I have watched it this time while I was having a nice cup of hot chocolate with uh, the white chocolate liqueur in. Very nice. <laughs> Take me up a bit, that has. Um, and yes, the e book is it's for making a hat like a beanie hat. It's a beanie hat with a twist, basically. And that looked very nice. And it's perfect for people uh, that have got ponytails as well. So it's sort of an all rounder, really. So I am looking forward to maybe making one. I don't know whether I'll make one for myself because hats don't really suit me. But when it's cold, <laughs> I don't mind wearing them. So I might try and make one for Adele. So that sounds good. So when I do, I obviously will share the finished product products with you. And I did have some nice mail come in the post today. Might not be very interesting to some people, but I have got the complete keto diet, and I've also got keto sweet too. Because a lot of what we're eating is low carb food and low sugar so this keto book i know i've showed you earlier in the week is really good and the sweet tooth one is very good so you have to have a different kind of sweetener that's uh, low in carbs and everything and you use cocoa flour and things like that. So I picked out a couple of recipes that I'm going to do over Christmas at some point, maybe between Christmas and New Year, when everything sort of settled down. Uh, I'll show you the first one I want to do. It's a very simple one. It's a flourless chocolate cake. So it's only sort of a, a slim cake, but it sounds really nice. And I've ordered some of the the sugar that we can use but it does give you a long list in this book of sweeteners that you shouldn't use i mean you, you can't use 
um, cane sugar or pasta sugar or coconut sugar or golden syrup or maple syrup. Now I've been using maple syrup, you can't even use honey. So I thought, right, if, we, <laughs> if we're going to stick to this sort of healthy eating, then I need to get one or two other things in so that we can have the odd sweet dessert because I think you know I've got yes I have got a sweet tooth and it would be nice to have something different because obviously we've got to be careful with the amount of fruit we eat and I must admit I like my blueberries I like strawberries I like bananas and I like apples and I do have them every day and I probably have more fruit than I should have so I think in the new year I need to sort of <laughs> just put it back a little bit just a bit <laughs> I mean bananas I don't like them when they're too ripe I, I do like actually a firm of banana when it's green ish greenish yeah so yeah but when I'm having a smoothie I do like the sweetness of the banana in there so I've got to be careful so I'm going to be trying to be even better uh, sort of my fruit eating next year i mean there's some like snickerdoodles in here i've seen these online snickerdoodles before but it's uh let's have a look here you've got cinnamon in it almond almond meal in it what's almond meal i'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> but they look really nice but it is sort of american based i think this one <clears throat> And I do fancy making them. There's some custard in here as well that you can make. And I never really thought about custard of having carbohydrates in. So I'm hoping for Christmas Day to actually make some custard out of here for the trifle because I'm going to make having two small portions of trifle. And you know, I'll probably have one myself. So at least I can keep the carbohydrates down. And we can still have something and i'm sure when i do this chocolate cake if i don't tell everybody that i've changed sort of the sugar and there's no flour in this they might not even notice so i'm looking forward to doing that well i haven't got any sewing to show you i'm afraid i haven't been doing anything i am going to be sewing the top later that I've got to do I've just got to put the band on so that's the job for tonight if I get back out of here which I'm going to try to um, but you might have noticed the sparkly dress in the background it makes a bit of a noise so it's, it's like it's all the black sequins as I, as I went to Tesco's uh, it was in the sale for £20 so I thought well I'm going to have that and I couldn't decide what size to buy and I thought, shall I risk a size 16? And I did. I bought a 16 and it fits perfectly. I don't know how well it will fit me when I sit down. <laughs> but when I'm stood up, it fits. It's not too tight. It's brilliant. So I can actually get into a size 16, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that, about that. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm probably not going to be able to pop back on today because I've got quite a few little jobs to do around the house. Um, I need to tidy the kitchen back up again because we've had to have somebody come out to see to the washer and our new washer is only six weeks old um, it's got to have something done to the motor and it's got to have a new circuit board by the sound of it so we're not going to have a washing machine probably until the new year which is really annoying seeing it costs such a lot of money and like I say it's only six weeks old it basically does what it wants you set it with a delay timer and it washes all night it's on for seven eight hours if you leave it it just, <laughs> it just keeps on going it doesn't spin and it, when you set it for the spin cycle spin and drain it doesn't do anything so needless to say i'm a bit fed up at the minute with this with the blinking situation with the washer honestly anyhow i know it'll get sorted so I'm not going to moan. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a nice cup of tea now and get on with some jobs. So I just want to say thank you for joining me today for this little brief little vlogmas and 
hopefully I shall be back tomorrow I don't know what with what but I will be back <laughs> bye for now <laughs>